Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I will be showing you how you can build a free website with system.io. Now the best way to get started with system.io if you do not already have an account is to use my system.io link down in the description as if you sign up through this page right here you get access to all of my bonuses. This includes done for you funnel templates, done for you email marketing sequence, a full system.io video launch series and done for you lead magnet. Okay, so I just went ahead and created a fresh new system.io account so that I am at the exact same starting point as you. Now to go ahead and create a website, we actually want to come over here to blogs. Now, although it says blogs at the top, you do not have to create a blog. You can create a blog and I will show you how we can create blog posts and turn this into a blog. However, you can just create a regular website and that is what I am going to do in this video. So once we are in the blogs area, we want to click on create in this top right corner. And then from here, we can choose a name for this blog. So I'm just going to call this GeForce North, just like that. And then over here, we can choose the domain name. So by default, system.io is going to give us this domain right here. So it's going to show your account name, dot system.io, and then slash in this example, GeForce North. However, this is not the most professional and a better way to have this would be to just have geforcenorth.com. That would look a lot more professional, right? Rather than this big long URL path. So what we can do is we can buy and connect a professional domain and you can select that right here. But I'm not going to go into that in this video as it would take too long, but I will leave a link to another video that I created showing you exactly how to do this. And we can do this at any time. So just leave this for now. And then after you create your website, if you do want to connect a professional domain, I will leave that link in the description. So once we have this set up, we can now go down and choose a template that we are going to use for this website. If you are creating a blog, then you're pretty lucky here because all of these websites are essentially optimized for blogs. As it says, this is a blog section in total, but all of these templates are completely customizable. So just choose the one with the style of the website that you think is going to fit you the best. In this example, I really like this template right here. So what we can do is we can go in and preview the template and see how this is going to look. And then once we have decided that we like the template and we want to use this, then all we have to do is click on select template right here. That template is now selected. And then as soon as we click on save, okay, so this is not valid. It shouldn't have a .com after. So it should just be the domain name. Then we can click on save. So just like that, this website has now been created and we can click in to start editing this. And in here, it's going to give us some sample blog posts for if you want to create a blog. And it's also going to give us some sample website pages that we can go in and edit from the template that we chose. So as an example, I can click into the homepage right here and I'm now going to be taken over to the system.io editor. Now this editor is a drag and drop editor, which means it's the easiest to use website builder. However, there is still a bit of a learning curve to this. So let me explain how this works. Now, first of all, you will see if I hover right here, we have a section. So this section is between this green line and this green line. This is the main heading section. And then in the middle of this, this section is made up of elements. So this element is a text headline and this element is just some standard text. So we have elements within sections. That's what makes up the website. If we go down here, we have this second section. So this is between this green line and this green line. And then in the middle, we have this big element right here, which is blog post listings. And above we have a text headline. So all we have to do to change this website is if we want to change anything within an element, we just double click in and we can now change this text. So that is text and that's a little bit easier. For some other elements, it's actually going to open up a control panel on this left hand side. And that's how we edit this element right here. So let me go through and start creating this website to show you how this is actually going to look as we go through and build. So I can click into this text right here and I'm going to say daily YouTube tutorials, reviews and comparisons just like this. And then at the top right here, we can click into this and change this to say GeForce North. And then what you can also see right here is we have some formatting. So if we double click this to highlight, we can bold the text, we can italicize the text, we can underline the text, we can strike through, but most importantly, we can change the color. So I actually want a bit of a blue color right here. So let's go for maybe something like this. 
and you can see that text color is now changed. Then we can go down and I actually don't want this latest article section as I'm not creating a blog. So what we can do is if there's elements that you want to remove from a section, but you want to keep the section, then we can just remove that element right here, just like that. Or if we want to delete the entire section, we can make sure we are selected in the green section and then just delete this right here. So perfect. Then when we want to add a new section or a new element, we can do this on this main control panel on the left hand side. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add in a column layout. And this is essentially a section. In this example, I want to list my YouTube videos under here so that people can just click through and go to the YouTube video that they are looking for. So let's add in a four column section right here. And as you can see, I now have four different columns that I can add elements into. Alternatively, I could go for, just to show you, I could go for a standard section and it's going to load in like this. But the premise is the same, where what we would do is just drag an element into the section and then we can now use that element. We can click in and we can start typing if we add some text. If we go down and we choose to add a video in right here, we can just drop that into the section, click on the video and then enter the information for this video on this left hand side. So I'm just going to delete this for now and delete the section as well and then go in and add what I was originally going to with these four columns. So then from here, I'm just going to drag a video into each of these columns just like this. So video, video and video. And now I can click into this and on this main control panel, drop in the URL or the YouTube video I would like to link them to. So I'm just going to go over and let's grab some of my most recent videos. So we have this Google Meet tutorial right here. Let's go ahead and open that up. We then have a Microsoft to do tutorial and I'm just going to open all of these up right here and then grab the YouTube link. So we grab the first link and we can paste that in here. And look at that, my video is now going to pop up. So that is the first video. Then I can grab the second video, click into this next element and then drop this in. Then the next video, I grab this, go to the next element and drop this in right here. And then the final video that I am going to add, we just grab this, click on the element and drop this in right here. Now, maybe I want to tell people what this section actually shows. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab a headline text. So we can drag this where we want to on the website. If we want to drag this below, we can, but I'm going to drag this just above these videos. And in here, I'm going to say recent uploads. So once again, we can click in, we can bold underline this. On the left hand side, we can adjust the font size. We can adjust the line height, everything like that. We can even adjust the font and how this is going to look. But I'm just going to leave this as it is and say recent uploads right here. So now I have that added in, what I might want to do is add some more columns underneath. And once again, let's grab some headline text and we can drag this above. And in here, I can maybe say most viewed videos. And then once again, I would just go in here. I would grab the video and drag and drop this in and then go through and do this in the exact same way that I just showed you with these up here. Now, there are a lot of other things that we could add. So as an example, I might want to drag a button in right here. And then once again, we just click on the button and we can make all of the changes over here. So what do we want to happen when the button is clicked? I want to open a URL and I want to take people to my YouTube channel so that they can subscribe. So let's go and do that. We go in here, your channel, and we can just copy this URL, then go back to system.io and add this in. And now people will be taken to my YouTube channel. Then I can scroll down and we can choose what we want the button to say. So I'm going to say subscribe now. And then for this subtext underneath, I'm going to delete this right here. And then we can go ahead and once again, change the font size, the line height, and how this button is going to look. We can also scroll further down, change the button color, the text color, any padding or how rounded the corners are. And that is basically how we use this editor. We just find something that we might want to add in. So we have an X share button, we have a survey, we can drag in images, carousels, audio. We just drag that in, click on it, and then make all of the changes that we need to on this left-hand side. Now you might run into an issue, like let's say that I wanted to add an image in here, but I want to add this like down the side. Like I want it to say daily YouTube tutorials, reviews, and comparisons, but I also want like an image here. I want to change the layout of this. Well, to do this, what I would have to do is delete the section right here. 
So I delete this section entirely. And then what I'm going to do is drag a two column section in above. So we add that right at the top, just like that. And then once again, what I'm going to do right here is drag in my text. And I'm also going to grab an image so I can add an image of myself. So for the text, I can go in and once again say daily YouTube tutorials, comparisons, and reviews. And it looks like the text color is a little bit off there. So <laughs> let's just highlight this and change this to black. We definitely want to delete all of this. And then we can just go over and once again, change the font size and the line height to make sure this looks how we want it to look. I also want this to be in the middle. So I'm going to add some padding right here. Let's just move this along and then we can add some padding to make sure this is in the middle. And then for the image, I'm just going to go over, upload an image file right here and select this image of myself. So that is now added in. And then maybe I want to add a little bit of text at the top. So we just add that, say G force north. And once again, go in, we can just change the text color to like a, a blue. Set that right there. Maybe we can highlight this and make this bold. And then we also want to make a black background right here. So I can just click into the section and then we can see the background color over here. So I can go in and maybe we want to change this to this like black or just off gray color, just like that. Then we can change the text color right here to white. So it's easier to see. And then once again, I will just add some padding to the top to bring this down. And now that looks awesome. So once you have finished creating your homepage, we can go up to save changes right here. And then all we are going to do is back out and we can now go in and do the exact same to all of these other pages. So we have a post list page right here. That's going to show me all of my blog articles. However, I'm not creating a blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to back out then post list page. I'm going to go ahead and click don't use and delete this. And as you can see, that check has been taken away. So we will not be using this. Then we can go to the contact page right here. We can either keep it as it is and just change the text, or we can add more elements and different sections, just like we did on the homepage. We can go down here and change all of this. We can do the same for all of these other pages. And the only thing that I haven't covered yet is how we change the header right here at the top and also the footer at the bottom. So the way that we change these is we would just back out to this main menu, then go to blog layout right here at the top. And now we can change this header and the footer. So first thing I'm going to do is go into the image, click on this and then upload my own image right here for my logo. So I can add that in right there and click on insert. Maybe make this a lot smaller, just like that. Awesome. We can then go over and change this navigation menu. So right now it says home, contact, art, articles and about. However, I don't have an article section. So what I can do is go down to articles right here and click on delete and delete this. Now, if you have more pages that you might want to add here. So let's say, for example, I had a page to get people to sign up for my email list. I can go down and add a new menu item and let's just call this email list. And then we can choose what this is going to be. So we have blog link or custom URL. If we go custom URL, we can add this in. And when people click on this, they would be directed off site to whatever URL you put in here, or we can go blog link and then select the blog page that this person is going to be taken to when they select this. So as an example with about page right here, I would go blog link, select and make sure people are taken to the about page. So that is how we can do the menu right here. And then the footer, once again, we just click in and edit all of this. So I can go into my images, insert this. I can click on the text and change this right here. So I'll say the best reviews and tutorials on YouTube, just like that. I can then go in and if I want to add my social media, I can click on all of these individual elements and then add the link in right here. Or alternatively, I can just go in and that's the element. I want to delete the section, delete the section right there. Once again, with these, we can add any elements or delete any sections that we want to. And that is how you can edit the header and the footer. Then the final thing that I'm going to cover is if you do want to create a blog and this is what your website is for, we can go to posts right here and click in and you would just go through and we can start editing the blog post, typing anything that we want to. We have images, we can click in and replace these. We can delete the images. We can change the text. We can add in new images and text to anywhere on this page. 
And it's very similar, as you can see with the layout, to how we created the homepage, but this is just going to be for blog pages. And then once you have finished creating your entire website, this website is automatically live. So if I go back to my blogs and find my homepage URL right here, so this is my website address, and I go and paste this in, this is going to take me over to the website that I just created. So that is how you can create a website using system.io. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.